Hey there, everybody. Got this email in asking if we could solve this problem that looks a little stranger than it actually is. It says find f of x plus delta x. This triangle means delta represents the change in something, so the change in x, minus f of x all over delta x or the change in x if the function f of x is 8x squared plus 1. So let's get into this. I'll give you a little more background on this, maybe more than you even need. The point of this problem is to get kids ready for calculus. This expression that looks super strange, that's the difference quotient, and we're going to use that in calculus to solve for essentially the slope of a curve, which is the derivative or instantaneous velocity. So if we were to look at this equation, 8x squared plus 1, and just pick two points, we'll pick x and then x plus delta x. So what that means is in between those two points is the change in x. So if this distance is 5, delta x is 5, and this is x plus 5, right? But it's just giving it to you in weird symbolic format. So if we were to look at the outputs now, we would have x, f of x, we're used to that. x is the input, f of x is the output. Then we would have x plus delta x and f of x plus delta x. So it's just really weird to look at, but this is just the output for this point some units away from x. It's really all, all that it is, but we don't need any of that right now. All we have to do for this is solve for f of x plus delta x. And you might be thinking, well, how are we gonna do that? We're just going to do this like we would solve for f of two. If you were solving for f of two, you'd put a two in everywhere there was an x and you would solve. Instead of two, we're putting a weird expression in. So we're just going to put x plus delta x in everywhere we see an x in this function. So instead of eight x squared plus one, it's going to be eight x plus delta x squared plus one. So let's see what I mean. All right, we said we're going to go ahead and put in x plus delta x everywhere we see an x in the equation. So that's going to be eight times the quantity x plus delta x squared. Make sure to put this in parentheses because you will have to square a binomial. And then don't forget the plus one. The plus one was in the original function. It has to be in your answer as well. So let's go ahead and simplify this. We get, when we square this binomial, we get x squared plus two x times delta x plus delta x squared and then plus one. And remember the eight is still here, so we'll have to distribute eight x squared plus 16 x delta x plus eight delta x squared. So let's put that there. So now let's see what we can do. We can take the f of x plus delta x, which we just found, the f of x, which they gave, it, gave us, and we can plug this all in and get our final answer. All right, so this is ugly, but bear with me. This right here is simply the x plus delta x we already solved for minus f of x that was given to us all over delta x. So we are going to go ahead and simplify this. We have 8x squared minus 8x squared. We have one minus one. Let's clean that up, see what we have left. We still have 16x times delta x plus eight times delta x squared all over delta x. So I can divide out my delta x's because they are in every term. So delta x will no longer be in the denominator. I'm going to divide it with one of those and one of those. Remember, there's still a delta x here. This is still going to have 8 delta x because there were two of them because they were squared. So then we get 16x plus 8 delta x. And that's it, guys. That's the whole answer. You're going to get an expression. You're not solving for an actual value. Hope this helped. If not, ask me questions in the comments. Have a good one.